Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Hello Girl DIY. Today I'm going to be doing three super cute Dollar Tree DIYs, which I hope you all love. So to start out, I'm going to be taking one of these like Dollar Tree wood planks. I was super, super excited to see these at Dollar Tree, and I picked up a bunch of them. But they are a little rough, and they're not like super high quality um, wood. So I did go ahead and just give them a light sanding, and then we're going to be using some Waverly really White chalk paint, and then also some Snow White acrylic apple barrel paint. Both of them are from Walmart, and the reason I put in so many acrylic paint is just because I wanted it to be a little bit thinner. Because sometimes chalk paint, I just I wanted it to have like that. that I wanted you to be able to see a little bit of like the wood coming through, if that makes sense. Plus, I just like working with thinner paints better, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the white paint on this wood. <music> painted it was time to go ahead and decorate this so I'm going to be using this super cute sticker slash wall decal from Dollar Tree I was so happy to see these I'm actually going to be flipping it to the back and using this be bold um these be bold stickers there's two so two stickers thankfully they're not all one letter because I find it so hard to get those one letter straight as you'll probably see later on and I think I even got these a little crooked but oh well it's fine I'm going to be putting these on. I ended up moving the B up a little bit higher than the bolts because I liked how that looked. They were so easy to put on and I actually was able to like peel them off and move them around without any of the paint peeling up. So that was a blessing. And then once I got them down, I'm going to be adding in some of these Walmart like gold glitter stickers. You can also see some of Dollar Tree's gold glitter stickers. They were both really cute, but I wanted ones that were like a little bit bigger and more 3D. And these were really inexpensive from Walmart. I'm going to be spelling out the word um, be happy with two E's. And the reason I ended up doing um, be E E for the be and happy was because I started with just the B and then I started doing the word happy at the other end. But I realized there was a big space in between the two words. So I started peeling off the B and it, and it left this really weird like rescue. So I got off as much as I could. I painted over it with a little bit of white and a little piece of foam brush and then I put on an and symbol and then I put on the B and the E and the E before happy. <laughs> that was probably a super long explanation but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know why I was doing the whole peeling off and repainting thing. be really cute to add like some little feet to the sign so I ended up using these two little wooden beads you can also get um, wooden beads from Dollar Tree they have like a mixed size color pack and you can leave them the same color because they come in really like colorful um, shades and then you could paint them if you wanted but I'm using natural wood beads from Amazon and I'll try to have them linked below in the description box but after um, hot gluing them to my sign I just put a little bit of hot glue on the top I let them dry and this was not very stable at all so I ended up getting some smaller natural wood beads and hot gluing those to the back of the ones that are already there and when you do this you want to stand up the sign and make sure that they are both level and then they actually will add stability and then I did that on the other side and actually added in a little bit more hot glue just to make sure they were nice and secure. like when it is all done. This next DIY was so quick and easy. All you're going to need is one of these cute, happy um, Dollar Tree metal galvanized signs. And then some of this Waverly, I think the color is like agave. I don't know how you exactly pronounce that. But it's really pretty like blue, green um, chalk paint. And I love um, using chalk paint when I'm painting metal because it goes on a lot better than 
um, acrylic paint and also adheres better so it's harder to scratch off. So I went ahead and did two coats of that. You can use as many coats as you like. I prefer doing like thick coats and not having to do as many. And then I let that dry and that was it for this super quick and easy but actually really really cute DIY. For this third and final DIY, I'm taking one of these um, super cute wooden cameras from Dollar Tree. And as you can see here, I already painted that little rim um, gold. Sorry I didn't get any footage of that. But I'm going to do like a second coat of um, this marker. This is just a gold metallic marker from Dollar Tree, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going around kind of tracing the outline. And then I'm going to be taping off the pattern part on my camera. And then I mixed a really pretty like light pink paint using some Ballet Slipper Weebly Chalk Paint from Walmart. Some white acrylic paint, some red acrylic paint, and then I ended up using a little bit of orange acrylic paint too. And then I mixed all the colors together until I was happy with the pink shade that I got. And then once I was done painting my camera, I decided to add in a little bit more of that gold metallic marker. So I added in some dots and some lines. And the lines were also kind of just a cover up where the paint didn't get all the way to the black line there. So you can see a little bit of that blue might be out. But again, you could just do whatever you wanted. You could add in squiggly lines or zigzag or draw on it or really whatever you want. like when it's all done I absolutely love the gold and the pink and the wood all together I ended up not putting a picture in it just because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to cut up and that is it for today's video you guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one bye